Hi there. Let's click this button. That's a homer. No! That's a different homer. Hey, that's pretty good. It is. In this video, I'm going to show you how to implement overlays into your vMix production using a Elgato Stream Deck or using your own keyboard. So now we're inside my vMix and we're inside the green folder, which I've named green screen. And here I have a bunch of different effects and how down here we have a Homer video. So let's click on this key here. He pops up and he disappears. Let's focus on the two here. Let's click on the two. He pops up and he disappears and the two disappears as well. Now watch what happens. I click no! here. He pops up, the two is green, and then when it, the, the overlay video is finished, the green goes away. But instead, if you follow my mouse and you go down here to the Homer picture, this one, and we click on the overlay number three, he appears, and then he stays. Look here, the number three is remaining. He's in front of the entire picture as a still image suddenly instead. And the only way to actually get rid of him now is to manually click on the key here and he goes away. So vMix has this trigger system. If we click on a cogwheel of one of these videos, we have here green screen Homer, woohoo, MP4 file. And if you go to triggers down here, you might notice that I have on complete overlay input two, Eight foot two, that's the input number, the green screen homer, woohoo, mp4 file. So what's gonna happen here is that when this overlay file completes, it's gonna remove itself. But only if it's on the overlay woohoo! number two. Woohoo! If it's on any other overlay, it's gonna remain there because I only had a trigger to remove overlay number two. VMix also has an amazing shortcut system. So if you go up to settings here, you'll find the settings in the top right corner and then you go to shortcuts that's down here. And here is a bunch of different shortcuts. Let's click on add. Let's click find. Let's actually click on something that's on the actual keyboard. Let's go H and let's click OK. Now we selected H on the keyboard. Let's go to function and we want to click on the overlay and overlay input two. Then we want to find the Homer guy. He was on the 84 green screen Homer. Woohoo! MP4. And let's click only on this uh, vMix setup. And let's OK. And let's OK. And now we take up the big keyboard here and let's click on pitch. Woohoo! Woo it worked. Woohoo! It worked. Woohoo! Very simple. Woo and as you can see, he also disappears. But we don't need Homer, we can make our own green screen stuff here. So now we've removed the green screen effect, now we can film an emotion. Yeah, that will work as an example. And then you bring that little video that you've just created into your vMix production, and you put audio on it, and let's click on play. Ah, that's perfect. Then we need to remove the green screen from it. So we click on the cog wheel and this little thing appear with the funny emotion on it. Let's click on this pen and you just click somewhere here and you remove the green screen, green screen background from it completely. And it's just black. Let's go to the settings in the top right corner. Let's go to the shortcuts. Let's actually grab the one I made. So here I have the H overlay input two. Let's double click that one and let's change from the Homer to the capture February two. Uh, yeah, it just has a strange name and then okay and okay. So now when I click on this H key, that happens. However, we haven't fixed everything yet. He's still remaining and still image. Let's fix that. So we go to the cog wheel and we click on triggers and then on complete, we change fade. We go to overlay, we click overlay input two. We will go to the preview and we select him the, the, the itself, 87. The capture February has a strange name, then add. So now once that little overlay is completed, it's going to turn off itself. So if I click on the overlay, it happens and he goes away on itself. But we don't want the overlay to appear inside the entire picture. We just want it to appear. Let's go in that corner over there. So let's click on the cog wheel. Let's go to position and let's and go to the main ones. It's correct. And then zoom down. Let's crop out these edges, that one. And let's crop out that edge. Let's also rotate it. So because it's a little bit freaky and funny. So let's put it here on the side. 
Now watch this. We're clicking on the H key. Perfect. So if you're live streaming or you're making a video and you want a pop-up to happen in a really easy functional way in your vMix and you want it to disappear and you want to program a little bit on how it's going to behave, this is a really easy way to do it. And when you're actually in that live stream, just click on this button and then cool strange things happen as you are speaking. You can even have sounds and things on them as well. I will show you guys one more thing on how you can create a trigger sequence. So here is my menu that I have open here on my Elgato Stream Deck. You can see it right there. Do you see the KO? You see a record and below the record there's a KO. It's right here. We're not going to click on that thing because there's going to be a long sequence that's going to happen if we do that. So over there in the yellow bar, I have the KO MP4. Let's click on the cog wheel and look at what's on its trigger. So on complete, I have two different things. It's gonna merge so that it's transitioning into a new screen, which is the screen 49 end screen. And then on comp and Dota's uh, victory music uh, .mov. And on complete, it's also going to overlay input to the seven end screen. So that means that if I play this thing, once it's complete, it's gonna do something different. So we are we could actually play it without finishing it. So that's what happens. And I clicked on it before so it didn't finish. And then if we go to seven, this is seven. Let's jump over here. On complete, it's gonna remove itself because I wanted to remove itself. And then we go to 49, which is the end screen, which is basically a thank you. So let's look here. On complete stop recording. That's interesting. You know when you go to the end of a YouTube video, you, know, you can click on that, click on this video or subscribe to this channel. You might see those white lines. I'm gonna put uh, video suggestions and subscribe to this channel inside those white lines. I don't usually do this for this channel, but I do it for another channel. So when I click on this KO, this thing, and if I don't click on it on again and it completes, it's gonna transition to that. And what's also pretty amazing about this is that it's gonna transition and play this thing. And you might notice that it's exactly 20 seconds long. So this this is a music file that's gonna play a music and there's gonna be this overlay over it and this is gonna finish and start in the exact timeline as the YouTube subscribe to this channel and click on this video exists. All right, let me show you how it looks like. Let's click on the KO and let's have it finish. And I'm gone. And as you can see, uh, things are happening in the background and I put subscribe to this channel and, and uh, I'm gonna put a video up here and there's a uh, thank you picture down there and there's some music going on in the background as well. And let's just... And it automatically ended the recording on itself and that would make an end to the video that I would then upload in theory to YouTube. And this is pretty much the end of this video as well. I hope I've showcased and inspired you in some way on how you can really utilize vMix and its trigger sequences and how you can make these overlays happen in a beautiful way to enrich your live stream or make your video hey, a little bit cooler in certain ways. But if you still got any questions of any technicality things, feel free to leave those questions in the comments below and I will try and answer those questions. Take care, guys, and I'll stream you later.